Do you experience severe pain with your menstrual cycles? Have you been struggling with infertility, but no one seems to be able to give you an answer why? If yes, then you may have endometriosis. Hi, I'm Dr. Shala Salem, and today I'm gonna to discuss endometriosis and what you need to know about the condition. Endometriosis is a condition in which tissue similar to the lining of the uterus, or what we call the endometrium, is found on the outside of the uterus in areas like your ovaries or your fallopian tubes. The condition induces a chronic inflammatory reaction that can result in the development of scar tissue or what is called adhesions. Endometriosis is estimated to affect one in every 10 women during the reproductive years. And is also found to affect as many as 50% of women who are seeking infertility treatment. Symptoms of endometriosis can include painful periods, pain with intercourse, and infertility. Some women may experience very debilitating pain that prevents them from participating in normal activities, things like going to work or going to school when they have their menstrual cycles. I often ask my patients if they ever have nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or changes in bowel habits during their menstrual cycles. If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you may also be struggling with endometriosis. There are some women who don't experience significant pain with their menstrual cycles, but yet still have endometriosis and some women who have painful periods but don't have endometriosis. The level of pain with endometriosis does not indicate the level of severity of the condition. One of the other common symptoms of endometriosis is pain during or after intercourse. The pain that is experienced may be a result of the scar tissue that's developed as a result of endometriosis. There are some women with endometriosis that can conceive without the use of infertility treatments. However, many women with endometriosis need the use of assisted reproductive technologies. In the severe cases of endometriosis, there could be scarring that could prevent proper communication between the fallopian tube and ovaries, and in some cases can even cause tubal blockage. It is not known why women who have very mild cases of endometriosis may need infertility treatment. Some of the possible causes include changes in the immune function, hormonal changes, abnormal function of the fallopian tubes, and inflammation. While there is no known cause currently for endometriosis, it appears to be related to complex interactions of our hormones, our immune system, our environment, and our genes. For example, we know that women have a higher risk of developing endometriosis if their mother suffered with a condition. Now, often your doctor might suspect endometriosis because of your symptoms, as I mentioned before. However, endometriosis is diagnosed surgically. There is no blood test currently that can diagnose the condition. The most common surgical procedure used to diagnose endometriosis is a laparoscopy. This procedure allows your doctor to view the surface of the uterus and the ovaries and fallopian tubes. During the surgery, we can evaluate the extent of your endometriosis. We can also treat the condition. Unfortunately, there's no current cure for endometriosis. However, there are treatments available. Treatment options are considered in relation to the patient's age, the desire for children, the severity of the symptoms, and the stage of endometriosis. And all of these things should be discussed with your provider. Some examples of treatment options include surgery, birth control pills, or hormonal suppression. Having a diagnosis of endometriosis does not automatically mean that a woman will experience infertility. Some women can achieve pregnancy without treatment. However, many women will need to seek assistance through assisted reproductive technologies like in vitro fertilization. As I mentioned before, endometriosis can cause inflammation of the pelvic structures and cause scarring of our fallopian tubes. Assisted reproductive technologies like in vitro fertilization is in fact the first line of treatment for patients who experience infertility due to endometriosis. Studies seem to indicate that treatment success depends on the individual patient factors, things like patient age, duration of infertility, and level of disease progression. So I often get questions, what can I do for my endometriosis at home? I usually recommend trying to follow an anti-inflammatory style of eating, something like the Mediterranean diet. This style of eating is high in vegetables, fruits, nuts and seeds, olive oil, fish, and lean meats. It has reduced levels of processed packaged foods that are high in sugar. Inflammation is a key component of endometriosis, and unfortunately, eating a diet that's high in processed foods will only contribute to higher inflammation and will not be supportive of endometriosis. Exposure to high levels of toxins has been linked to endometriosis. While this doesn't automatically mean that toxins cause endometriosis, it's still very important to pay attention to. 
Women with endometriosis are often dealing with increased pain and stress levels. So managing your stress in cases like this is very important. And some of the ways that stress and pain can be managed could be through things like yoga and acupuncture. Endometriosis is a complex condition and unfortunately many women are suffering in silence. Many women are told that pain with periods are normal and that all their tests are normal and there seems to be no reason for their infertility. If you are trying to conceive or you're struggling with pain and you think you might have endometriosis, you should meet with a doctor who can evaluate you for endometriosis and go through your fertility options. If you found this video helpful, please like or comment below. If you have other questions or other topics that you'd like to discuss, please leave them below.